Hello everybody and welcome back. Today's block is going to be the Murder in Greece block four. And I am doing all these. I'm trying to get caught up on mine. So I'm just filming the video. So for that, you're going to have your strips cut out. And the, you're going to have two of each of these. So this is A and C you have sewn together. And this is D and B. And you're going to have, like I said, two sets of this. But I've already... Uh, cut one of them into my right sizes so these are just I had fat quarters so they're just the width of the fat quarter by the size it tells you I'm sorry and then you're going to do this one with D in the middle the bigger of D and then the two smaller B's on the outside and then this one A in the middle and the two C's on the outside and then you're going to cut those down which I've already done so really those are extra for me so I already have those and I've already done two we're gonna make two more and then we're gonna hook them together and it's gonna make just two blocks so for now let's lay that to the side and let's move these we're done with them I'm gonna go ahead and cut these to the right size and I will be right back for the next step all right so I've got them all cut and I've laid them out how they're gonna be sewn for the first step these are our, our other pieces and we'll get to that next but now we're just going to sew these two together and these two and these two and these two and i am just going to pull from here over i'm just going to start here and we're just going to head on over and sew these up So I'm just showing you one of the four patch. I did already do most of the others. And then we'll put them all together. All right, let's cut these off. I'm just going to start over again, grabbing. I did iron those open real quick, and now you want to make sure you line up the pink, or the at least the right color. I did sew one wrong earlier. I had to rip that out and fix it. But it's okay. other one off we're gonna we'll iron those real quick and then we're gonna just line that up and sew down these are a lot of little pieces I'm not sure I like it but I'm committed now so I guess I'm not I could just quit and not do it, but where's the fun in that? Alright, let's get these off of there. I'm just ironing these open. Lay them back out and now on this I really don't know what I've done because I cut them the way it said but it came out a little smaller oh look I cut too many just by one it's okay throw that in my scraps we're gonna sew these down and we're just just like before we're just gonna fold one down and I'm just gonna pull them from over there and we're gonna sew them so let's head over. So don't 
don't line up very well, but I'm just going to trim them at the end because I cut what it said and well, this is where it got me. just centered it as best I can. I'm really not all that worried about it. It's just for me anyway. Alright, let's iron these open. Oh, whoops. Guess I should cut this one apart. You see how it's uh, a little over there? It's fine. We're not worried about that. Now, what I did do is, I lined this up with this flat side near this seam side, so I didn't put them together. I don't really know what the picture shows because it doesn't show it like that, but that's what I did. And I also lined it up with these edges rather than that one, and I'll trim that off then. But for now, we're just going to line these two up, and I'm going to go so just straight down there. And we'll be, or we'll go over together and do that actually. All right, let's go back over here. And then I ironed them open to the, the side without a seam also. Now, I also did this one. Let's go ahead and open it up. Lines up pretty good. Now, that makes them opposite there. So we're just going to fold this over line up my seam and pin it and then line up the end with a pin and I'm just gonna hold the beginning let's go sew that trim these up I'll show you how I did it because really I don't know do it however you want but this is what I did I just lined this line here up on the, the seam here and I went over to the edge as far over as I could go 
and I just slice that off. My blocks might come out a bit smaller, but honestly, it'll be fine. I can't lose that much. Mm. Look pretty good. I'm just gonna do this one then. Okay, one more. Small blocks are not really my my thing. That one's good. I'm gonna leave it. This one gonna be a good bit but again whatever and then this side okay so now we're gonna lay them out now they do go opposite these two blocks so one is gonna go like this while the other one is going to go like this. So if you folded them over, they would be a mirror. Just like that. So we are just going to sew these two seams together. Hmm, I did that a little bit off again, whatever. We're going to pin in the middle. at the end and then I've sort of squared them up I didn't actually measure to square them up but I did close enough so they'll match up pretty well now we're gonna do this one and at the end and the beginning I'm just going to hold that one. Let's go sell them. Let's iron them open and take a look. It's a little wonky, but I don't mind. I like it. Lots of threads everywhere. I'll have to get rid of those. But there you go. It is Murder in Grease Block 4. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. I hope if you're doing the blocks, this helps. And I will see you all next time. Have a great day.